I'm gonna rate Oprah's primetime special that she did the other night. Okay. She talked about shame, right? All up in a tizzy about people saying that this isn't for people who don't have diabetes. And I, Oprah, call me please. Hello, call me. You did not call me for your special. Hello, I was waiting for my phone call and your staff never called me. If you are new here, my name is Anna McKenna and I talk about all things Ozempic, Wagovi, Manjaro, you name it. We talk about it here on this channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you want to join my membership community, go ahead and hit join, but above all, make sure you hit subscribe and hit that little bell notice so you don't miss anything that I'm talking about here on this channel. All right, so I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna rate Oprah's primetime special that she did the other night, okay? Um, other than her not calling me, um, I thought overall it was pretty good. And I'm, give, I'm gonna give you my number one out of 10 at the end of this. So make sure you hang out till the end of this video. All right, so let's start with how she kicked it off. She talked about shame, right? And so I thought that that was a really good jump off point to talk about how people get to the point where they need medications or they need help or their experiences growing up. And I know that people on this medication are in varying degrees of obesity or weight um, challenges. And I think it's really important for everyone, no matter where you're at, if you have 100 pounds to lose or if you have 20 pounds to lose, shame can be a big part of it. So I really liked how she kicked off the show by talking about her experiences. You remember when she pulled out the wagon full of all, you know, big fat thing back in the day and she went through all of her challenges and I thought that that was really good. Um, I, it really resonated with me, I think. Um, and I think it resonated with a lot of her viewers as well. So I will say at the beginning of the show, kind of talking about where she had been, I think was a really good kickoff. My notes are over here. Okay, the second thing that I think went really well, they talked about the science of the drug and the science of the drug, we touch on it here on this channel, but I'm no scientist and I'm no doctor. And I am the first to tell people, like I am not a medical professional. This channel shares with you what happens to me on my journey. Um, but I thought overall the experts that she had on and how the medication works with individuals was really, really good. Um, and they really broke it down into ways that the general public could understand what this medication does and how it's a tool. It's not like a lifesaver, as we all know. It's not like you just take your shot and that's it. And it's the lazy way to lose weight. There is a lot that goes along with the science. They talked about what GLPs do, how food is emptied out of your um, intestinal tract, and it was really good. So I will say that that was also very good. I really liked how they talked about calories in versus calories out doesn't necessarily work for everyone as probably all of us here on this channel know. It's about more than that. And so having that science as part of the overall show, I think goes a long way in educating the viewers in terms of why people might need these medications. I really also liked the teenager story, the cheerleader. And as a former cheerleader, I was like, Back in the day, I cheered in the 90s, okay? We used to have to get on scales and like weigh in or we couldn't cheer. And so I don't know, I don't necessarily think a lot has changed in that department, but it just really made me happy to see um, the cheerleader, I forget her name, that was on Victosa and how she was able to use this medication. I also loved how her mom talked about how she grew up and she knew, they knew that something was biologically different with this child. And it was just such a great success story and I loved seeing this story on this Oprah um, special. I thought it really hit home and um, was really good for the viewers to kind of see how younger people like teenagers may now have access to some of these medications 
Um, and I thought it was really, really good and I really enjoyed that story. We talked a little bit about biology, but now that Weight Watchers, and I know like Octavia, Optavia, and like some other programs are partnering with weight loss medication to have success with people who are in their programs, I liked that Weight Watchers was on this, um, on this show because Oprah was on the board for Weight Watchers and she was like really touting Weight Watchers and how it was working for her, but she struggled as well. And so I think having the CEO of Weight Watchers on there was pretty good. And I think when we take this medication and we couple it with a Weight Watchers kind of way of eating and managing portions, I think that people can be really, really successful on this. And so I thought that that was also a good tip. They talked about how Weight Watchers is now three pillars, essentially community, education, and healthcare. And I thought that that was a really good approach to partnering with physicians or medical providers who might be looking at um, GLP medications as an option for people. Side effects. They briefly touched on some side effects. They said 17% stopped taking these medications because of side effects and that they needed to weigh the pros and cons and that they could be essentially for most people, not everybody, um, effectively managed and that most side effects were mild to moderate. And if you guys have watched me on this channel and I'll point out a couple different videos here where I'm talking about side effects and how they've affected me, I also found that to be true. I think um, down the road, knowing the data and doing their screenings, they will be able to effectively look at people who are struggling with side effects and again, just like every medication, this might not be for everyone. Some people get really hit hard by the side effects. Some people, like me, luckily, I've been able to kind of navigate them as I've gone along. And the side effects tend to subside as I'm on dosages for longer periods of time. So 17% um, stopping these medications because of the effects of their side effects, I think is pretty good and maybe from a medical standpoint, that isn't good. They didn't really delve in too deeply into that. I thought that um, it was a really good snapshot on how side effects can either off-rail you on some of these medications or how most people can kind of make their way through them so that they can continue taking them. Novo Nordisk, they had Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly um, both on here. They spoke at the end for like, a couple minutes each and they talked about the research and they talked about you know how exciting it was to have these medications uh, let me just tell you what i wish that they had addressed okay they like briefly touched on shortages but they didn't really talk about how people get all up in a tizzy about people saying that this isn't for people who don't have diabetes and i do wish that oprah oprah call me please hello call me I think that they should have totally dove in a little bit further talking about the issues that people are having with shortages and also do a little bit more in shifting away the dialogue from really rabid people. Even some in this community have been like, it's not for you. And I think that I know that they tried to get across the education of obesity in this show, but it really, really would have been nice for them to say, Specifically, we know, we hear you, diabetics, you know, have had an issue with getting some of these medications, but that's not for the people who also need these medications to manage. I have always said on this channel, and you guys know if you followed me for any amount of time, medication is for doctors and individuals to work together on. And if a doctor says I need a medication and would benefit from a medication for my overall health, I'm going to do it. And if I can get it, I'm going to take it. And I really think that that's a, a lot to put on someone's shoulders. Like me saying like, no, I'm not going to use this medication. It's not for me. If my doctor says it's for me, I'm going to take it. And I do wish that both Novo Nordisk and Eli Lilly had dove in a little bit further talking about what are they doing to make sure that there is enough of this medication to go around and also say specifically, this medication is a lot of times for diabe diabetics, 
but it's also for people who are struggling with other conditions as well. And I do think that that would have gone um, a long way in terms of educating people on who this, this medication is for and who it can be for. All right, so lots of high points, some pretty solid stuff. Overall, I think it was a good special and I was glad to see Oprah doing it, even though she didn't get me on the show. But I will say, I think it could have gone longer. I think they could have touched on some of those topics. And so overall, I give it a seven out of 10. A seven out of 10, it was a solid, it was a solid show and I'm glad I watched it, but I do think they could have done more. Hopefully they'll have a follow-up. I would love to see like a follow-up, like where are these people now? And I think that it would be really beneficial to continue the conversation and dialogue. And I, I think just by nature of who she is, Oprah should own some of this. Um, so overall, I'll give it a seven out of 10. I think it was uh, a good way to start educating the general public on what these medications do. So just a real quick um, recap for you. Go on to Hulu and watch it if you want. Um, it's a real easy watch, one hour. Um, and let me know below in the comments what you think. Take care.